Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas Patnaik. And guys, this time around, we're going to be dealing with projection of planes. And the object that I've taken up is in fact a composite plane. Well, a composite plane is something that is what you call a combination of two different geometrical shapes. And you'll see in this particular problem that there is this geometrical shape um, rectangle. And on the longer side of the rectangle, you'll see a semicircle. So guys, without further ado, let's get down with the problem. And here it comes. A composite plate of negligible thickness is made up of a rectangle 60mm by 40mm and a semicircle on its longer side. Draw the projection when the longer side is parallel to the HP. So this is a condition that should reflect in our drawing and incline at 45 degrees to the VP. So the longer side uh, apart from being parallel to the HP is also inclined to the VP at an angle of 45 degrees. Alright let's go ahead and get the details. The surface of the plate making 30 degree angle with the HP. So guys, whenever you are doing problems based on projection of planes, always make sure with which reference plane the surface is inclined to. Okay. And as far as this particular question is concerned, the surface is inclined with the horizontal plane at an angle of 30 degrees. So let's write down all the details regarding this problem. So we have object in the form of a composite plate. Um, it's a combination of rectangle and a semicircle. Next is the dimensions. We have already seen the dimension 60 by 44 rectangle and the semicircle is on the longer side and the longer side is 60 millimeters. So this 60 millimeters can be treated as a diameter for the semicircle. All right. Um, let's move forward. We have this condition when the longer side is parallel to the HP. So if the longer side is parallel to the HP, then you can assume it to lie entirely on the HP. It's absolutely perfect to do so. And moving further, we have this uh, apart from being parallel, it is also inclined at an angle of 45 degrees to the VP. So any sort of inclination with the vertical plane is denoted by phi and phi edge or longer side has been given to us as 45 degrees. All right, let's move ahead and let's get, get details regarding this surface inclination. Surface is making 30 degree angle, hence theta surface is equal to 30 degrees. All right, so theta is something that is associated with um, inclination with the horizontal plane and phi is something that is associated with the inclination with the vertical plane. So guys, stay tuned because in the next section, I'll give you a demonstration how this object has been really kept. Let's get started then. So guys, in this section, I'm going to demonstrate as to how the object has been really kept. Now, first of all, let me tell you how the object is. Now, this in fact is what you call a composite geometrical object, a composite plane in fact. And this is made up of a rectangle. You can clearly see this rectangle and this longer side of the rectangle is also acting as a diameter for the semicircle. All right. Now, as far as problem solving in projection of plane is concerned, you always need to make sure as to with which plane the surface is actually inclined. All right. Now, once you've read the problem, you should realize that the surface of this particular plane is inclined at a certain angle with the horizontal plane. All right. Now, it is something like this. Okay. If this is the surface, it's uh, it's inclined like this. I'm going to show you how. Okay. So this is the object. All right. This is the object and the surface is inclined like this. Fine. Now. If the surface is inclined to HP, your initial assumption should be this. Slam it on HP. Okay. Now ask a question to yourself as to from which way you can see the true shape of this surface. Now one thing is for sure that the true shape of this particular surface can only be seen from the top and hence you have to start by making the top view first and this is exactly what you're going to see right from the top. So this is going to be your initial step number one where below the XY line you're going to create this overall composite plane all right and this is going to be step number one and this is going to be the step number one's front view okay first of all you need to make this top view and after making this top view you're going to see this from the front okay uh, some sort of a line starting from this point till this point all right so this was all about step number one guys and in step number two we've got to incline the surface at a certain angle with the hp as far as the problem is concerned the surface is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal plane it's going to be something like this all right, like this. So this is the inclination of surface. What we're going to do in step number two is we'll recreate this from step number one. We had this line in the front view. We'll make sure that this line again has been recreated in step number two, but at a certain angle that is 30 degrees and accordingly its top view is going to be made and it's going to look something like this. This is exactly what you're going to see from the top. Some kind of a squeezed up composite plane. All right. This is the true shape which was in step number one stop you and this is going to be the step number two stop you it would appear squeezed up you guys can now head over to your drawing sheets i'll head over to powerpoint in order to explain you how all these things can be implemented so let's get started 
so guys now that you've seen the demonstration as to how the object has been really kept okay in step number one we are going to create the top view because we are assuming that the surface of this particular composite plane rests entirely on the horizontal plane and in such a case its true shape will be evident from the top so let's start and we have this x y line and below which we're going to make the top view so this randomly point you see is point a dash point a in fact all right and we're going to go down below somewhere in this direction and at an, this distance is how much let us see this is 60 millimeters guys okay so this is one side of the rectangle or one edge of the rectangle and we're going to go towards the right by an amount of 40 millimeters 60 by 40 rectangle this is going to be point c and this over here is point g i guess all right so now this longer side is also going to have a semicircle and that semicircle is going to have a center all right so this is the center point and with this guy this center and this much radius all right this radius is going to be 30 millimeters we're going to make a semicircle something like this now we are going to divide this semicircle into four equal parts that can be done first of all you need to make two parts all right something like this and then two gets converted to four now these two lines that i have drawn just now are the lines at an angle of 45 degree either with this horizontal line or with this vertical line that can be made pretty easily and here are the points c d e f and g all right now guys now that the top view is done we're going to look at this object from the front all right so we have this arrow okay now let's have the projector lines and since it entirely lies the surface of this plane entirely lies on the horizontal plane in the front view you're going to see a line nothing else but a line okay and this point corresponds to a comma b this corresponds to c comma g d comma f and e and it should look something like this right you need to darken this line now everywhere you see this darkened line or thick black line you need to use an edge pencil for that all right and these sort of connection lines are to be made with the help of 3 edge pencil that can be done in the next surface as i've already told you surface is to be given respect in the form of inclining it and the surface is inclined at an angle of 30 degrees with the hp all right so randomly we're going to make a point over here let's say this is a dash comma b dash all right and from this point we're going to go in this direction at an angle of 30 degrees we're going to draw a line randomly of any length okay now somewhere along these lines we're going to have points c dash comma g dash we'll also have points d dash comma f dash we'll also have point um, e dash so we're going to take uh, arcs from this point to this point we'll cut an arc from this point to this point we'll again cut an arc all right so this is the arc stuff you need to recreate this entire figure over here at an angle of 30 degrees to say in very simple words something like this um these are the arcs i was talking about this corresponds to c dash g dash d dash f dash and e dash that's it guys now that the front view has been recreated from step one into step two we're going to look at this object from the top now we, we're going to see now as to how this object looks okay when it has been kept at an angle of 30 degrees with the hp let's have the top view projector lines downwards projector lines from uh, step number one's top view towards the right of your screen something like this let's see where all these points intersect so this vertical is for a dash a and b so this is the horizontal for a so this is going to be point a and this is going to be point b similarly you can work out the remaining points let's for example say this uh, horizontally is for e this vertical is for e both of them intersect over here and this is going to be point e all right so we have all the points and let's see how this object looks okay exactly all right now guys we, we're gonna move ahead and we're gonna make sure that this longer edge over here uh, which is actually kept at an angle of 90 degrees with this xy line is to be kept at an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical plane all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw a line over here at an angle of 45 degrees something like this all right and i'm gonna recreate this rectangle recreate this rectangle with respect to these dimensions something like this all right this is a b c and g right now let's move ahead we need to recreate this semicircle also somewhere here and for that what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make these points these three points over here in the form of arcs something like this that's it you can see these horizontal lines and these three horizontal lines are absolutely perpendicular to this line perpendicular to this line we are gonna draw three lines so the best way to do this is to um, make use of a mini drafter you can keep one scale of your mini drafter and automatically the other scale of your drafter uh, is gonna be perpendicular to this okay 
now we need point f so what we're going to do is we can we'll keep the two legs of a compass one over here other over here and this is going to be the radius and it's going to be same for point d also okay something like this this guy has entered put an arc this guy has entered put an arc this is going to be point f and this will be point d all right now with this guy as center we need to put a, take an arc again keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with this guy as center again put an arc and that's going to be point e for you all right so let's draw the semicircle um, this is not exactly a semicircle this is rather a half ellipse all right now let's look at this object finally as to how it looks in the front view so let's have an arrow again okay let's have the projector lines let's have the projector lines from the left of your screen to the uh, towards the right and then we're gonna have the intersection points this is gonna be point a a is vertical a is horizontal g is vertical and this is g is horizontal similarly all the points can be worked out and finally it should look something like this right so this particular portion you see guys g dash a dash b dash c dash has been made or connected rather with the help of straight lines whereas the portion from c to g c to g has been drawn with the help of a smooth curve okay since its top view was a semicircle its front view is also going to be a free form all right that's it guys that was all from my side and i strongly believe that this video has added value to your knowledge of engineering drawing join us again to learn more about engineering drawing and do subscribe Guys, this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care and have a great day.